so here's the thing about Sonic Heroes. It's a really finicky game. For instance, to attack as your power characters, you usually find yourself mashing the B button to fight the enemies. And then your character, being the literal clown that he is, will sometimes just punch right off the edge to your very demise. Bam! Screwed over, and that's just not my fault. And unfortunately, taking a death in Sonic Heroes can be fairly punishing. There are a healthy amount of checkpoints, don't get me wrong, but upon a death, you lose all of your level ups. And while the game is still playable in that mode, it can feel like a huge setback to be playing out of your freaking mind and then be back to playing like a scrub over something that isn't your fault. And of course, I'd have to be crazy not to talk about the fact that Heroes is one of the slippier Sonic games to this day. I do think people overextend this argument. It's not that bad. And there are fail safes such as your speed character automatically stopping at an edge, uh, but it's still an imperfect system that perhaps rightfully has made a lot of people angry over the years. I do think these flaws are probably why this game hasn't held up all that well in the court of public opinion, where people deliver guilty verdicts based off of their crappy memories. I don't really fault people for it to be fair. Deaths that aren't your fault are not acceptable in any video game, and can absolutely hamper the final quality of a product. But at the same time, I think it's dishonest to pretend that other Sonic games up to this point and after have had perfect controls. I plenty of times experienced Sonic Adventure 1, or even had jank stuff happen in Sonic Frontiers. This is going to make people mad, but bad controls aren't exclusive to Sonic Heroes in this franchise, not by a long shot. So I find it kind of odd how this game has become sort of the sacrificial hedgehog for this complaint, and the jank isn't restricted to just the controls either. Uh, for instance, the rails are probably one of the most infamous instances of this game being kind of glitchy. You'd think it would just be a simple hold right or hold left or jump, and sometimes it is, and more cleanly, and then sometimes you just jump off into an endless abyss to the depths of hell because the game felt like it. To get around this, I usually would just ride these as the flying characters. So if there's any unfair discrepancy between my controls and what's happening on screen, I can cheese the game back because sometimes it's just how you have to deal with life. And you know what? While we're talking about negatives, you know what else just sucks? The Casino Zone. It's beautiful, but it's completely broken. It's a cute idea, right? Being an obvious homage to the Casino Night Zone from Sonic 2. And the developers try to make it interesting by having mechanics such as bingos or slot machines. But you have no control when you're in an actual pinball machine, in a level that they expect you to make vertical progression in. Again, they just took the engine from the base game, threw some crap on here, and thought it would work flawlessly. I think you have more control over LA traffic than the pinball machines in this game. That alone can be pretty damn irritating, but then you have to consider, you know, the main gimmick of this adventure. But basically what I'm getting at is if one of your three teammates just disappears or doesn't come with you or gets sent to the goddamn nether, there's an actual possibility that you can't switch to them. This game does have a failsafe in the event this happens, which is that your teammate will be waiting for you at the next checkpoint. But sometimes having to play without that character's archetype is a real pain in the ass. I talk all these negatives not just to crap on the game, but mainly because I want you guys to know while I love Sonic Heroes, I absolutely do hear and relate to a lot of the criticism I see for this game. I think it's important to bring these things up just for the purpose of not just being a shill for Sonic Heroes, because people are right, this game does have some serious problems. 